Okay, so I'm going to try and do this all in one go. We'll see how it works. But uh, my game is about to be turning one year old, and I'm pretty surprised with the little bit of success that I had. I was thinking maybe about like 20 people might enjoy it, and it turns out that we're almost at the time of recording this, probably by the time this is posted it will be at 500, but we're almost at 500 now. So I'm really happy with how that's turned out. And uh, so I thought I'd do a, like a little let's play of it. But I wanted to first start off showing you guys the website that I have it on. And uh, it's, it's a free game, so if you want to play it, you can. I still have the demo up if anyone does want to play it, but I think I'll be taking the demo down at some point, just because it doesn't really matter. I don't know, maybe I'll keep it up. But it's just sort of like a little playthrough kind of thing of it. Um, so yeah, it's a free game. All you gotta do is download the little zip file, and then you just un unpack the zip. Let me bring that up for you guys. And then, so when you first unpack or unzip the file, it's just going to come up with a little folder here, like this. And you just double click there. Um, I'm going to quickly switch over to my game thing, so it's going to have a black screen for a second. And, oops, got to get back into here again. And you just click run. It should pop up with the game. Okay, I hope that that turned out okay. I can always attempt to try and throw it in. That little opening part is actually on my uh, YouTube channel if anyone wants to see it that way. Um, it's just I have to record this at a little bit higher level, so hopefully it doesn't have too many problems. My computer is not running the best today, so we'll see how it goes. Um, I do want to quickly check, because I do have to do this kind of in one go. Make sure the volume is not too bad. I want to make sure you can hear me. Anyways, let's get started. In memory of Vanessa Casey Mercury, the one who helped create LeVar and keep his story alive for years. Which is true. She really did have a huge part in my... Um, in the character LeVar and keeping him actually one of my characters. He probably would have just fallen away a long time ago. So anyways. Let's get started. The pain. Every bone in his body ached, every muscle filled with a crippling pain. He slowly opened his eyes to look around. He had survived, but for how much longer? Six. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Ready or not, here I come. The morning sun had risen about halfway toward the middle of the sky by now. The cool air meant the animals were more active. Everyone enjoyed a cooler day after a long hot summer. Lavar, the youngest cub born to a small family of lions, was out playing as he always did, but today was special. After a week of not knowing where his favorite lizard had gone, he finally found her once again. The cooler air had brought her out to sun herself, and Lavar could not be more thrilled. Completely alone and without any cares in the world, he was playing hide-and-seek with her just to prove his friendship with the lizard was special, and he could always find her. Now where could she be? He bounced along until he bounced along till he came to her favorite tree. It wasn't hard to spot her hanging upside down from a large branch, walking out to the end where she could sun herself. Lavar smiled playfully. Ah, there she is. He jumped into the tree, holding on with his little claws. He had never climbed before. 
She had never gone so high. Maybe that is where she had been hiding the past few days. One paw in front of the other. He slowly and awkwardly made it up the tree to greet his best friend. Gotcha. Hello, Squishy. He slid down around the branch to hang upside down and look at her. Her eyes slowly turned to look at the silly lion cub before continuing on. She knew him well enough to not be afraid of him. Watching carefully, LeVar tried to hold on like the lizard. After a few steps, after a few steps, his back feet gave out and he scrambled up onto the branch, holding on tightly as some bark fell below. It took him a few moments to realize he was safe and stood up once again. Squishy, I can't, I can't walk like you can. Why don't you walk up here? The lizard continued on her trek, not paying any attention, not paying much attention to him. Well, it is your turn to find me now, so get ready to count to ten. I'm a good hider, though, so you... Lavar, Lavar, where are you? The cub stopped and crouched down at the sound of someone coming. He carefully approached the other side of the tree and jumped onto the thickest branch, looking out towards the stranger nearing him. Randon? Don't worry, Squishy. It's just my brother, Randon. The lion approached the tree as the cub stayed hidden. He sighed and sat down in the shade. Be still, Squishy. We can't let him hear us. Why does he keep running off like this? We need to get going. Lavar quietly watched as his brother lifted his tired, dirty paw to clean it. He's normally here. Lavar! What do you think, Squishy? Should I surprise him with a pounce? Okay, here's the first sort of choice thing you get to do here. And, uh... I gotta decide sort of now as to what ending I want to do. So... Let's do it. LeVar slowly approached his brother in the tree. When he was sure he would not miss his target, he threw himself off the branch and onto his brother's back. Ah, what the... Randon had to have jumped five feet into the air. He landed onto the ground, panting hard with his claws stretched out. LeVar fell off safely into a pile of leaves, laughing. Ha 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 ha, I got you, Randon. You were scared. Lavar slid out of the leaf pile, laughing too hard to stand. Well, yeah, you just jumped out of a tree at me. Lions don't just do that, Lavar. Ha 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 ha. Okay, we're just going to have a little pause here while I quickly uh, say something before we probably go to the next video. Sorry, this didn't really get too far in this first video. Um, I do want to say, one, this story, the, the first part of the story that we had, I'm actually going to turn down the volume for you guys, too. There. Um, the first part of the story that we had was uh, the first part of the story I ever really did for LeVar's story. It was going to be a comic, just like Mosin's story and stuff like that, but I had about 80 pages of the comic done when it was thrown in the garbage. Uh, not by myself. I don't really want to get into that story, but it basically had a catastrophic failure of that comic. And I didn't want to make it again. I didn't want to have anything to do with it. So that scene comes directly from the comic that I had. It's one of the very few things that actually has stayed, other than the fact that the starting was supposed to show LeVar dead or dying. And uh, that's right from the original comic. And that little scene there with Squishy. Squishy's also a, uh, a lizard name that my friend used to name the lizards where we lived in Florida. She named them all Squishy. So I decided... For her, I was going to put, uh, I was going to name the lizard Squishy. She's not the one who passed away, but she's, she's still alive, so I did it for her. So, if she's watching, hello. <laughs> and, uh, anyways, we're going to stop this video here for now at part one. I will get a lot further the next time, because we're not going to have any of this talk, uh, at the beginning and stuff. I will stop once in a while and kind of give, like, a commentator's story 
thing for it just to kind of make it a little different than maybe some other people's Let's Plays of the game. And uh, yeah, so we'll continue in the next video and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching and bye-bye.